Philippine policemen stormed a bus with 15 Chinese tourists on board Monday night. The final assault began after shots were heard inside from the dismissed policemen holding the tourists hostage. It was a dramatic conclusion to an incident that had been playing out for much of the day in a wealthy downtown Manila neighborhood. Several hostages were brought out of the bus alive in the end as police and ambulances were lined up next to the vehicle in the pouring rain. Some did appear visibly distressed from their ordeal. Several were hurt. Some didn't make it. Officials said at least eight of the tourists died, and police said the hostage taker, former senior inspector Rolando Mendoza, was killed with a sniper shot to the head after he wounded a police sharpshooter. It had been broad daylight when the crisis began. Manila's police chief said Mendoza had hitched a ride on the bus carrying visitors from Hong Kong on its return from the historic walled city of Intramuros. But on the way, the former policeman, armed with an M16 rifle, declared he was taking those on board hostage. He released nine people hours into the standoff, but wanted guarantees he'd get his job back before freeing any more. That didn't happen, and tensions rose as the sun set. Police flattened the tires of the bus to prevent it from driving off. Then the driver dashed away from the bus, warning Mendoza had opened fire on the hostages. The driver was escorted away from the area under heavy guard and intense media scrutiny. That was the point when police decided to make their final assault. According to newspaper reports from 2008, Mendoza was among five officers who'd been charged after a Manila hotel chef alleged police falsely accused him of using drugs to extort money. His brother said Mendoza felt injustice had been done. After the standoff had ended, Hong Kong's chief executive said he was disappointed in the way it had been handled, while the Philippine president said it highlighted the need for more equipment and training for security forces. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.